All right, so on this weekly chart, what we can see is a pretty much steady bullish momentum, right? Unlike the monthly chart, uh, the Kumo is moving up like this, and Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen are also gold crossed and moving up. And Chikou Span has been breaking this recent high upwards right here. So, this is exactly like three positive uh, signals in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. It's called Sanyaku Koten in Japanese. So, uh, clearly, in weekly chart on this gold, uh, the market is bullish. So I'm going to look for where to buy on the market. I will look for trading edge on the market to buy in this momentum. So I will, in this case, I will look at this weekly chart and also break it down to like daily and one hour chart. And I wouldn't look at the monthly chart for now. All right, so in this daily chart here, is this uptrend, downtrend, or range? Which one is it? Is it uptrend, uptrend or downtrend, or in the range? Wave theory and cycle theory also always make me confused. <laughs> yeah, it takes time to master it actually. But once you start to see the time cycles and also wave and also the price observation theory, then you, you don't need any indicators. Actually, all you have to do is you look at the price action and also those wave theories and combine them together. And actually, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to show these like all five lines either. If you master all these like three theories, I tell you that are the best. Well, thank you so much for saying that. I try my best. Because of Ichimoku, I know you now. Yeah, ex I, exactly. Actually, Ichimoku brought us here, right? Brought me here to connect with you guys. So I really thank you for Ichimoku <laughs> for having this opportunity for me. Yes, we understand Japanese philosophy. The mentally behind Ichimoku is very important, I think. Yeah, m the philosophy behind Ichimoku and also mental part is uh, very important. And I think that's be because it's based, created in Japan. And also Ichimoku Sanjin talks about lots of like uh, the wisdom or the truth about the market on this original book so i will be introducing those ones too but it's like a contradiction right like sometimes when, when you talk about the philosophy or when you talk about like the wisdom right it doesn't get to the point right it doesn't give you the white or black answers right it's like a gray answer always right so sometimes it might confuse you but um i think that's uh, very important to know to see the chart that way like uh it actually effective to create the scenarios like um like in my past video i was talking about the conditional branch thinking like you have to always ask yourself if question right if the market goes up then what would you do right and if the market goes down what would you do you have to create the, those scenarios right always and actually it branches out right so for example like when you when you say it's a buy when you say the market is going to be go up and what will be the next scenario right what will be the next pushback it's going to be happening you have to always think like that right and what if the the price breaks the recent high upwards right so these are kind of the scenarios that you have to create immediately after you look at the chart because if you don't do this then you have to um you know you're gonna regret the result afterwards because i think you're biased towards one side of the direction on only one of the scenarios and you cannot deal with it the movement when it's happening the way you were not expecting right so you can expect like up or down it you know you can just expect either ways but the thing you have to remember is you have to always create scenarios right if it's gold up then what's gonna happen right if it goes up and if the price breaks the recent high upwards then what's gonna happen right you have to think like that and if it goes down then what what's gonna happen next right you have to think about those scenarios to be able to expect an expected future in the market and actually those Ichimoku 3 theories will be a great help to be able to create this, those kind of scenarios. And that's why I think it's profound. So, all right, I got some comments here. All right, range, range, uptrend, range. All right, I've got lots of range comments here. So nobody's thinking it's a downtrend, right? <laughs> Just to make sure. All right, so yeah, um, this one right here, gold daily, it's a range, it's a range, right? Uh, just by looking at this Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, it's a range because uh, Kumo is all uh, in parallel. Uh, Kumo is moving horizontal, right? And also uh, these uh, other three lines are interacting with these candlesticks. Just broke the flag pattern and it's a Kumo breakout. Yeah, it looks like it's breaking out. But again, Kumo is horizontal, right? So even if the price actually breaks the Kumo upwards, it doesn't mean anything in this case. I think is uptrend because uh, Chikou Span just broke the price. 
Oh, this one, right? If the Chikospan breaks the recent high, like on this price level, recent high upwards, if the Chikospan breaks it towards this way, then this is significant. But just because a Chikospan breaks this lower like price levels here, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's not really significant in this case. Uptrend all Ichimoku point up. Yeah, Ichimoku, yeah, Kinkohyo, everything is pointing up. But again, Kumo is horizontal. You have to look at the Kumo's angle, right? Like, look at this one. Like, right here, this is Kumo is going up, right? But look at this one. This is horizontal. So that means even if the market looks like uh, right now it broke the Kumo, all right? And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, gold crossing right here. So, yeah, this is another signal, bullish. And Chikou Span is uh, kind of above this candlestick. Oh, it's bullish. Maybe you might think like that, but you have to check the cloud, the Kumo's direction. And you have to recognize that this is horizontal, unlike here, right? This is uptrend, but in this case, this is still in a range, right? Kumo suggests it's still in a range. That means it might be resisted here and the price might go back down to this price level. And it's gonna go up and down, maybe. That will be uh, one of the expectations here. When the Kumo is actually horizontal, then you have to know that it's still in the range and you have to prepare for it, how to say, the, the range market uh, momentum here. 